Hello friends, good morning. My name is Jackie. You're watching Super Enthused. I'm here with Adam. We're at Knott's Berry Farm. It's my first time ever. What else is going on here today? There's a ghost town alive. Uh huh. There are some amazing dark ride attractions that Ooh. I know you are spoiler free on. You're gonna have your mind blown. I can't wait. Some of my favorites happen to be here on site. And just kind of just roam around and just see what there is to see. All right, let's your go. First, your first time. My first time ever at Knott's. I'm so excited. That only happens once. Once. You guys are coming with us. I'm in. I've gone through the turnstiles. And I'm already starting trouble. Just got here. This is my first time checking out the jail. I want to see if there's any inhabitants in here. Hi, this is my first time meeting you. I didn't think I recognized you. How are you doing there, lady? I'm doing okay. My name's Jackie. Well, you know what? It's always nice when a, fa a fine a young lady like you makes her way in, in, into Calico because this place needs more fine people like yourself. Oh, thank you so much. So how long are you in for? Well, I'm glad that you asked that. Now, um, you look like you got some good school and an education. Maybe you could be my lawyer when you understand that uh, I don't have a defined sentence. I don't have a release date. Oh. I also was never brought up on any specific charges, and I never had any trial either. And I think all of them things, as I sit here, are against the law. So maybe you could take that up in, uh, in court for me, and we could finally get me out of here. Yes. You know what? That sounds like a case I am willing Willing to take up for you. I only got I got some loot buried in a can over on the other side of Calico, but I don't have any money now. Would you go ahead and do pro bono work till I can pay you later? Sure. Can I go look for the can maybe? Well, I can't tell you where the can is because there's lots of open ears out there and they may just hear and they'll, they'll get away with the, getting that can before. I yeah, can there's a lot of people it. kind of creeping behind me trying to hear what there we're talking about. There is a lot of people and they're getting even closer as we talk yeah, and I think they're trying to get the information about my can of, uh, yeah. of loot. Ugh. Okay, so we'll do this pro bono for now Okay. and then we'll just get the can uh -huh. once you're free. I like this plan, ma'am. I'm so glad that you came over here to see me. Me too. Sad Eye Joe might be getting a little bit more happy-eyed before the day's over. Happy Eye Joe soon. Oh, very good. Thanks. All right. I'm going to let everybody else get in here and give you a little visit, but, you know, our deal's on, okay? I like it. All Thank right. You, happy Eye Joe. Bye-bye. Nice bye -bye. to meet you. We playing over here? Well, I was about to deal out a game of seven card stud, no peek. No peeking. Yeah, that's right. That's I'm over one, here peeking, though. The one rule of the game is you don't get to look at your card. Well, I, I can't play right now, but, um, you know, just keep this maybe here for me, and I'll just I'll come back and, and play it. Okay. You we'll find me. Well, okay. You owe me a card game. Okay, sounds good. Adam's trying to get taco coupons over here, and I'm just, like, dusting. I'm just dusting. I feel like there's a little bit of dust around here. Okay, I'll clean. I'll clean. Oh, boy, what have I done? <laughs> I, I, I got this from somewhere. It's the first prisoner of the day being caught. People are saying he's innocent. He's innocent. I'm an innocent man. Behold the innocent man. Can you imagine us get to four? They got into town on the map. That would, that would make this town the jewel of the West. I mean, that would just be phenomenal. Y'all ought to become citizens, too. You want to be an Yeah? How do we become citizens? Come on in. Follow Milton. It is my primary function. I need to become a citizen. Oh, my word. This is my first visit ever, so automatic citizen, right? Look at them purple shoes. We need to get some trail dust on them. Come on inside. All right, all right. I'm Deputy Mayor Milton C. Howell, and I have a modicum of authority in this here parts. Now, if I may ask, where are you from, lovely lady? I'm from Miami, Florida. Oh, holy mo- Miami, Florida! I've come a long way. Wow. I was wondering what water looked like. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna administer an oath, and then you write your name in this book. It's a two-fold process. <clears throat> Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. You need to scare these people, okay? With the level of all you're about to produce. Here we go. One, two, three! Yeah! chicken out of that yard. Get yourself on over here and sign your name in the book. All righty. Since today is Founders Day, I'm not going to charge you any income tax for a full year. Thank you. That is a courtesy I extend to you. Now I declare today is Founders Day and this lovely lady just got sworn in. You are now one of my constituents and you can go to any one of these activities and there'll be a hoedown at 5.30 American time, 5.30, right on that big saloon stage over there. And I will make a speech and we're going to have some dancing. We'd love to see you there. Thank you so much. Oh, you're most welcome. Oh, Nelly. <laughs> I'm so happy.
happy to be a Oh citizen. my word, madam, you are a peach without the pit. Mm. Right now, the first thing we're gonna do is go over to the Calico Mine Company. Go for a little mine ride. I got some pennies for us. One, two, three, wish. May all our wishes come true. Your mind, folks. Remember, one stray spark and we'll all get blasted to kingdom come. That's not good. Just one stray spark? Oh, 
are no buffers on this. Oh my gosh. Continual motion. We're just like free, free Until floating around. Stop, stopping. <laughs> Until the epic drop. No track. Like we're just floating. There's no free track. Floating. There is no track. It's trackless. Ah. Oh, the dude all day. Oh no. No, no, no. Watch out. No. Watch out. Watch out. Oh. That was close. <laughs> Oh, I'm a citizen of that town. Wow. Look at the water. It's like raging rapids. Really dark cave. Oh, ah! oh, 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 <laughs> I got so... Oh, no! Oh, my gosh. That splashed right in the face. Me, too. Oh, it feels so good in here. Fibbing. More fibbing. It's a lot of fibs today. A lot of fibs. First he tells me I might get a little wet and not that much of a drop. Then I try to get some bonbons. Bonbons. It's gonna be sarsaparilla. Yay! It's my first time in the saloon. I'm at the Calico Saloon. They have draft beer and wine. They have soda, sarsaparilla, and fresh popcorn. I can smell the popcorn. It smells so good. Look at those cool vintage looking whiskeys. As a brand new citizen of Calico, we're gonna cheers with my very first authentic sarsaparilla. I had one at Narcusi, at the Battle of Narcusi Middle. You did? So that was a good it's one. A little this different is my than first. This I need to document this too. Let me grab my camera. Yeah, yeah. Cheers. All right, cheers. First non sarsaparilla. Not Wait, it is sarsaparilla. Not, oh, yeah, I thought you said it was not sarsaparilla. It's a sarsaparilla. It's a not. Oh. It's refreshing. Woo wee! After getting soaked on the log ride, the refreshing sarsaparilla. Sarsaparilla. We gotta do the voice. Sarsaparilla. It's sarsaparilla. Sarsaparilla. It is very tasty. I like it a lot. It's definitely got like a root beer taste to it. Best sarsaparilla I've ever had. All right, we're gonna take this sucker for a walk. Keep on exploring my new town. Iron Man at work. Da, 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 da. Sir, yes. you have a snake in your hat. A what? A snake in your hat. Uh, a snake in my what? In your hat, not in your boot, in your hat. I have a snake in my hat. There's a snake. It's just kind of up there. Hey, Is it your here. pet? A friend? Snake in my hat. Yeah, yeah. On your hat. On my hat. On your hat. The hair. <laughs> Baby pig. Careful, pen. careful, what? careful. It's fine. I got it. I got it. I got it. I just wanted to. Okay. All right. 
All right. All right. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pick him up. Just scoop him up. Scoop him up. Oh, ah! Ah! There he's. Oh, oh. All right. Okay. All right. You have a good day, sir. Right. Thank right. you for helping uh, me. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Anytime. Just looking All out right. for you. Just go put him in his natural habitat. That's perfect. This plaque claims that Ghost Town is America's first themed amusement park. Founded in 1940. Don't mind if I do, thank you, I am a little hungry. We got hungry, and what better place to eat at Knott's Berry Farm than the famous Knott's Chicken Dinner Restaurant, responsible for a big part of the founding of this park. The founders of this park, Walter Knott and Cordelia Knott. Rumor has it that Cordy would make delicious chicken dinners for her family, and they smelled so good and they became so popular that everybody wanted some. It started with just family, and now it's open to friends, too. Adam, are you telling me that this is a recreation of George Washington's fireplace? It is. To warm, warm yourself up out of flame. It's so hot in here. It's too hot. A little toast, a little humid. And let's see, the greenhouse over there? I think, the I think it's all plants over there creating oxygen and heat. This is really cool, this little secret area. It's actually not cool, it's warm. This is the greenhouse-like secret garden back here area that leads in to the hearth area. All right, we've been seated. Didn't take long at all. It was about a 20-minute wait, but we walked around and checked things out, so it went by very quickly. This is the famous chicken dinner that helped to found Knott's Berry Farm. It was so popular. People loved it so much. It got the family through the Great Depression and really is responsible for making this place what it is. So in the spirit of history and soaking up my first visit to Knott's, I'm gonna have Mrs. Knott's famous fried chicken off the traditional dinner menu. Just That's what I'm gonna get. I'm oh, getting, what a coincidence. It's the same thing. Look, boysenberry punch has been brought right there. Ooh. Where else can you get, where else can you get a punch of the boysenberry persuasion? That's what I got too. What a, what a coincidence. What a coincidence. This is my first time trying boysenberry juice or any sort of boysenberry beverage. Punch, I think they call it punch. Punch. Punch, punch not Good juice. <coughs> it's interesting. I don't know what boysenberry is supposed to taste like. I got some with my dinner, but this is... I don't know how to explain it. It's just like juice, like punch. It's good though. So it's celery and rhubarb served cold in cherry juice. That's interesting. And it's meant as an appetizer? Yes. Interesting. Yeah, that's what they've had since day one here. So this is like an original classic. Yes. I opted out of the rhubarb. We've got the creamy chicken noodle. This isn't even the meal. This is just like a. This is, this is just like the beginning. This is just to get things started. Show them. Show us the biscuits. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of. Them. All right, let me see them too. Let me see them too. Oh my gosh. Yeah, delicious, delicious, warm biscuits. Little pats of butter. This is a lot to start with. This dish is very interesting. It's unlike anything I've ever had before, definitely. It's very refreshing. It's not overly sweet. And it's actually, I can see how this is an appetizer because it's like a palate cleanser. Another first, trying boysenberry for the first time. Not just alone, on a biscuit. Let's see what it's like. It's jam. It was a good jam. Is it your jam? This is my jam. Holy cow, this is what we're dealing with. This is a massive amount of chow. You opted for the kernels of corn. The only difference between that and my meal is I went with the cabbage option and we went with all dark meat. But for $3.99 more, you can go with the white meat. But still, this is like, an overload. Are we gonna be able to eat all this? We'll try this. All right, well, now I've got my camera back. See, this, this is my camera. They yeah. look alike. We're using the same they camera. look alike. Yeah. So thanks for describing our dinners, though, for no everyone. Problem. I just try to help out your vlog in any way. I hope you guys like that description yeah. of our chicken voice, dinners. Yeah, just in case you guys are confused about our voices. That was Adam. I'm gonna start with taters and corn right here. Mmm, looks so good. There's only one way to wrap up the famous chicken dinner. Here, 
and that's with a piece of boysenberry pie. So boysenberries are a hybrid of like four different berries and they have a really unique flavor. We've eaten quite a lot of it today. So now it's time to eat the pie. All done, wrapped up our meal. The chicken dinner was really good. The chicken was cooked really well. Fried chicken's always good. The skin was like crisp and delicious. The pie was great. Everything was really good. So I recommend if you come out here and you go to the chicken dinner restaurant, get the classic chicken dinner because it's really good. So now we're all filled up and we're going back into the park to do some more and have some fun. Let's go. Oh, look at this. We're going into the bird cage theater. And these are some of the actors and actresses who have performed here, most famously Steve Martin. Great stage successes of the 19th century. Shows daily. Let's go on in and have some theater. Founders Day Hoedown. What a kawinky dink. Basically, just keep moving. Uh -huh. Don't step on your neighbor. Okay. And just kind of make it look like you're dancing to the music and it's good enough. Practice tapping the toes. Yes. I think I got it. Okay. All right. Good, good chance. Thank you. I'm wrapping up our day at the Calico yeah. Town Square with the hoedown. Now I know what to do. I've got my instructions. Tap your foot. Don't step on anyone. Make it look like you're dancing the music. And no one will notice a thing. I'm ready. I'm ready for this to happen. It's happening. So you go this way and then that way. This I is like very it. minimalistic. I like it. But though. it looks like you're doing more than you're doing. Yeah, yeah. Very, very political. Oh, word, you're gonna get in. Ha ha ha! That's it, I call it the Milton. This is gonna catch on. Oh, you got it, girl. Catch you on. Oh, my With word. Little... You can put the pepper on the eggs. Look at you go, girl. Ha ha ha! Yeah, give me your arm. Let's throw a little bit of that in there. There we go. Yeah. Now go the other way. Go the other way. That's what I'm talking about. Ha 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 ha! Ah, nothing like a good warm campfire and some nice music to wrap up a fun day. I'm gonna get cozy here and just get ready for the show. Mozart of the Ozark, but my brothers didn't care for that whatsoever, so they bought me this set of teeth. Have improved my fiddling style. Let me show you how these work.
be back. So I'm gonna go now and I will see you guys next time. Until then, stay enthused. No, thank you, not thank you. Oh,